Yeah. Welcome, everybody, back to Breakfast with Bob from the Challenge Championship and the Collins Cup. We're brought to you by Master Spas, Hyper Ice Form, Smart Swim Goggles, You Can, Hoka One, One, Clash USA, and, of course, our Challenged Athletes Foundation, the captains for Team International 2000 Olympic gold medalist, Mr. Simon Whitfield, and 11-time Ironman champion, Lisa Bentley. How are you guys doing? We are top drawer, right up there with the peanut butter. Exactly. Oh, with the, oh, peanut, with the butter. peanut butter. I Almond like butter, it. if you prefer. Oh, fair enough. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So let's hop into it, you guys. I loved the way this happened yesterday. It was almost like there was this huge plan, like we're going to have three three athletes who are all Ironman athletes, and it, the, 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 everybody seems very... On paper, you think Europe is going to dominate, but when you look at the three athletes individually, you realize that this is going to be interesting because it's you can't win it on paper. Well, talk a little bit about your the idea of uh, of each one of your athletes, like Teresa, uh, yeah, Teresa Adam, and and how you feel she's going to fare against uh, Daniela Reef and and Taylor Nib. We, we definitely put a lot of thought into the matchups. Yes. We've been talking about it for months. Simon, myself, Craig Alexander, who's a yes. captain as well, but not here. And we wanted to have races where they were going to swim and bike close together and, uh, and, and try to keep the, them like tight right. and competitive. So with Teresa Adam, great swimmer, great biker. She can do all that with Daniela Reef. There's no question oh, about really? it. Oh, really? She'll be with her? Yep. And I mean, hey, all of our athletes, you think, I mean, Paula Finley, I mean, who can swim with Lucy Charles? Right. But, Nobody can, um, yeah, but yeah. But, you know, Paula's got a great swim bike run. She's got all three that are, that are really and brilliant. And she beat Lucy. She's beat Daytona. Lucy. Yeah. And, and you know, all the matchups are going to bring out the best in our athletes. Right. And there's an, a, a, you know, you get elevated to an, another level. I mean, even, I mean, Simon, you can think about back when you, won the silver met you won the silver right and yeah, the second and, time around yeah, so you won 2008. the second so you were in that group at the end that pack at the end your game was just elevated to a different level and you i remember in that race you like were dropped back a little bit in that last kilometer and then like threw your hat and surged i mean there was just another game there because of the people that were around you and that's what we're going to get on saturday yep. is all of our athletes are going to go up a notch just because the people that they're with all right. of a sudden it's like okay, I can swim with Lucy Charles. You know, yes. that's, that's what's going to happen. And the power of the mind is an incredible thing. Well, and when we've seen it, because in so many of these races, like, like that race you're talking about, when Simon ran by the group, Javier Gomez, they were already planning a victory parade for him back at home, right? I can't believe we're talking about my race with all this going on. <laughs> I know. But just the fact that it's basically the unknown. Yeah, you can, you can have a You People can have rise. a sheet and say Javier Gomez is dominated yeah. throughout the year, but the reality is you got to race the race. That's right. That's why yeah. you play the game. I think what's been really interesting about this is being around the athletes before the selections were made. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't anticipated just, of course, it would feel that way, right? But the, to see them being like, who they were nervous. racing? Yeah, and they wanted to know. And it, what a different feeling. Instead of going to a start line and feeling a sense of some anonymity sure they're all champions but, right but they're they blend into these big fields in this case they just know they're rocking off with two other people and there's nowhere to hide and i think that speaks to what you're talking about is in the case of with a big field if you're having an off day you can kind of yeah. duck back you now you maybe yeah and daniel i can't do that but a lot of those athletes coming up to that level right. can can do that they they can in a sense but in this case there's none of that there's mm -hmm. this is very exposing and you could tell that the athletes in the lounge were sitting there going, they were very interested in who they were racing, what the strategy was. They were trying not to give away too much, were they? They were kind of like, hey, uh, Joe, just, you know. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know we can put me up against? Right. And then to see them be on stage there, and you could feel it like that whole, the two rows were just vibrating a little bit as the anticipation was like, they were like, let's move through this because I want to know who I'm racing. Yeah. And now they're all walking around and they've got this, camaraderie with their team yeah they've also got this eye for these two other people that are in the room in the days and the build up to it it's great i think this has done really well well it, and it's interesting too because just you know they all have history so when i was uh talking to kyle smith just now mm -hmm. he was talking about um as an age grouper 
uh, World Championships, uh, I was racing Gustav and we had a sprint finish back in 2015, 2016, something like that. Mm -hmm. So then they, and he goes, he, he was bummed because um, uh, Rudy <coughs> Von Berg is sick and not racing. So they replaced him, but he, he, the known, the fact that he's you know, lost to, to Gustav is sort of, he knows the guy. He knows I can be with the guy. Right. So there, there's something to be said for uh, the other guys. Jackson Laundry. We talked before this was came out. We, he just knew he was he was racing. He was excited about racing. But when I talked to both Joe and Justin, they're like the three of us have raced a ton. We know, and, and it's going to be. It, it might be the closest race of the day right. because we all have beaten and beaten and been beaten mm -hmm. by each other. So that's what's fun. I hadn't anticipated that part of it. You see it on paper, you know there's 12 races. Right. But then to actually see that unfold and then see the athletes here and have that tension, yes. the camaraderie, yeah. the tension, that sportsmanship, it's been a really, I hadn't anticipated just how exciting that would be to know that, hey, wait a minute, we don't just get to watch one race unfold. We're watching 12 races and they all matter. They all matter they and do. it could come down to that 12th race yeah. to win the Collins Cup. You guys have been involved with obviously with the Ironman, with the Olympics and we've seen you know, the sport gets into the Olympics, it gets into the Commonwealth Games and Avignon first world championship. All those type of things have been pivotal moments in our sports history and what's your feeling about that? My feeling is this is this is a pretty major moment. This is pretty historic. Enormous moment. This is, this is the future. And, and the neat thing is that none of these athletes have ever done this before. They've right. never raced just two other people. Right. And so we talk about Jan and Daniela, and of course they're just beautiful athletes, right. supreme beings, but they've never done a, a three-person race before. Right. And mentally, how do you react to that? How do you react if you get dropped? by 30 mm -hmm. seconds. How do you react if you're in the lead, but there aren't 50 people around, or there aren't 50 people behind, or you're not on laps where you're constantly seeing people? The dynamic is completely different here, and it's gonna play on the psyche. This is gonna be so much mind over matter for all of our athletes. Yeah. Whether, you know, whether it be an athlete of ours that might be three minutes back at some stage, they may feel like they're in no man's land. And I, I don't think they, anyone needs to feel that way, but do, do they have the mental tenacity to say, I'm still in this race, even though I'm three minutes down, I just might not be able to see them. Um, you, they're not gonna have 50 athletes around them. It's a different, a very different dynamic, but this is here to stay. Collins Cup so. isn't going anywhere. It is going to build and grow. The anticipation, I, I can't get over when I you know, logged into my computer and people, like normal people at home, not professional right. athletes, age group athletes are writing to me saying, that was so incredible, that pick was unbelievable. And I wasn't telling everybody, hey, watch the picks. They just were watching it. They were seeing the feed. The, it's, it's incredible the emotion and the attention it's mm -hmm. stirring. Right. And it's, uh, it's going to just build from here. Uh, what I'm excited about is just when you look at what we saw, at, and I don't think Simon was with us at Challenge, My, at Challenge uh, Miami or Challenge Daytona on the racetrack. Mm -hmm. So you got that going on. And then Mac is creation Super League. And then what we're doing here, it's in the mixed relay, which premiered in the Olympics, which was so fun. Mm -hmm. I just think that we're sort of in a good place. Mm -hmm. The sport seems like it's on a, on a little bit of a growth curve. The thing that is Will McCoy is on Twitter putting in his fantasy picks. So he runs the Super League. Right. But he's putting in his fantasy picks for Collins Cup. Of course. And I'm like, yes, there you go. Yeah. It's and then tonight, really I'm going to go back and watch the draft, the Super League draft for the teams. Right. Because the sport's in a place right now where these entities are rising up to say, hey, we got this, we got this segment, you got that segment. Mm -hmm. Let's, pro let's co-promote these things because we just love this sport. And that's how you go. I want to share another moment with you, too. Sure. I was, I was coming back from lunch. And the European men were walking down the hall. It was like watching Reservoir Dogs. Like I saw them coming, and there's like Jan and Kinley, Skipper. And I was just like, fellas. And I just like <laughs> moved aside. And I was like, I just got to witness that. It was so awesome. It's and they're like gigantic. They're gigantic. And they're just like, there's like some real icons of our sport in there. And they're a team. And I think that that's the other thing that maybe you'll watching at home you get start to get a sense of watching the ceremony you get a sense of but i'm really seeing we just came from our lounge we yeah. got this lounge and they did a really smart thing they went up and the pto who thinks of every little the, detail the detail incredible. that they've done is, and yeah. the flags 
and just the presence the first day we're in there right yeah. there's no flags and then they come in and dillo's in there and he just decks the place out in flags and at first you're like oh okay cool and then you kind of see it come together and you're like oh i get that mm -hmm. and now the boys they're all up the teams up there like chatting away and they're meeting new people and they've got this camaraderie you're like oh i got to take on them you take it on them yeah cool we got this and it's fun to watch it's fun to be part of it was funny talking to patrick lange today and he was saying you know the fact that we're teammates uh, Sebastian Keenley and I have not been very close. We have not been good friends. And he came to my hometown in, in Austria, and we just sat down. And, you know, we're going to be teammates. We should be friends. Nice. And we can still be competitive. Yeah. But you know, I, I like that because yeah. there's... And at the same time, you've got, you know, Keenley, Sanders, and Starkowitz, and there's going to be smack talking through the roof <laughs> from all three of those guys. But it's all in good fun because it grows the sport and it grows interest. Did you see the Ellie Stackhouse? Oh, oh so yes. Holly Lawrence talked about it today. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holly said that uh, it was at Nice, and Holly said they're climbing, and you're supposed to have, you know, 10 bike, whatever, how many bike links it is. And Ellie cut in early, and then had a mechanical. And so, <laughs> uh, so I think Holly went by her and said something like, karma's a bitch. <laughs> Wow. And <laughs> didn't go. realize that yeah. Ellie's whole season had been based on Nice yeah. and had been yeah. there for six weeks yeah. and had a mechanical was oh. out of the race. Oh. So. Oh. I think that we've all been around the sport a very long time. Yes. Bob, you're an original, and Simon and I are less original but still originals. And there was a ton of camaraderie around our generations for sure yes. and I think as the ITU evolved and as it evolved it was a little bit more of a battle mm -hmm. and I feel like the Collins Cup is, is saying no no you can be friends mm -hmm. and you can battle we have a great team dynamic for sure I'm sure the other teams have developed yeah. it as well and and that's going to be an important thing moving forward and, I, and it doesn't just so we've got this team dynamic people are sort of coming together instead of being separate individual mm -hmm. competitors they're coming together on their with their team but I also think, just as you said about Super League putting in fantasy picks, it's triathlon, and we all believe that. It's not, it's not Ironman, it's not Challenge, it's not Super League, it's not Olympics, it's triathlon. Mm -hmm. And let's all build the sport together. Let's use each other, yep. let's promote each other, let's enjoy that we have these incredible athletes and we have the attention of the world right now. Yes. And that's what we need so that our little niche sport just keeps on growing and growing and, and growing. And I think the cool part is, is during really the, our darkest hours during when a lot of pros were wondering how they're going to stay in the sport. You know, the Metzlers were telling me that, you know, they had negative $2,000 in the bank and were wondering how they're going to stay in the sport. And race directors, we know, we all know race directors who are gone, mm -hmm. who couldn't afford to last another season without, without races. And then PTO steps in and starts funding people, even though there's no race. He's putting money in races that could have gone away and helping them out. I just see that from the lows, we've come to a, such a great place. I've also seen this inflection where online and the esports aspect, because you can't play rugby online. No. But you can race triathlon. No online. question. And all of a sudden, we're looking in Canada to say, hey, wait a minute, we can now engage people in remote communities yep. to say, hey, we're having a championship event in Toronto. We have live event, but you can participate in this. The technology is there now. Right. And, and this year, just this like reset that happened has allowed the race directors maybe an opportunity. There's been a sifting through. Mm -hmm. there's, been some, there's been some casualties in that. But it's also opened up the opportunity to say, hey, we can integrate this hybrid model. And the participation rates can really <coughs> start to pick up again. I think that we'll look back on this and say we kind of needed it. It was almost like this resort yeah. reshuffle. And I say that with all... Of course. Yeah, there's been people who are going like, yeah, thanks a lot. But this is where we're at. And I think going forward, you're going to see this hybrid model um, come on, online. I think people also are understanding that it may be a couple of years ago when we were flush with events and you're like, eh, I won't do it this year. I'll do it next year. Mm -hmm. Now people are like, I don't know if there'll be a next year. <laughs> I, I, did, I was talking to somebody. They're like, listen... I'm going to I'm in Switzerland next week yeah. after this because I can't count on if the, something in California is going to happen right. in two months. Mm -mm. So if you know, this, I think it was Joe Skipper goes, hey, I'm here. 
I'm fit. I'm doing Collins Cup, and then I'm going to Switzerland and do a full. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Live in the moment. That's it, what this pandemic has taught us it all. It really has. If you can do something, do it now, because who knows what the future holds. I also love the fact incorporating legends like yourselves as captains of the team brings some history. And so they sort of, they, the athletes are sitting around talking with you guys, and you're, they, they learn where how you guys got into it and where the sport started from and how much you and they see how much you care about it and that that's important for them to know that you know what i'm in the right sport they also found out that we're fans because i kept going up i was like hey sam long i want to meet you yeah <laughs> yeah you're just doing great man so i was yeah. like as a fan of the sport as someone right try battle i stayed up all night i watched the whole thing yeah versus yeah. lionel because yeah. i just love our sport and I got to come here and I got to meet a bunch of people that I'd seen racing that I yeah. hadn't actually been in touch yeah. with. And I was like, oh man, this is just great. This it's is our sport at its best. Well, thank you guys. I think it's going to be a blast on Saturday. And it's so cool to have us sort of us uh, mature folks <laughs> <laughs> along with all of our, our young up and comers. And I think it's going to be watching the infusion with a Taylor Nib and a Katie Zafara is coming off the Olympics and riding a road bike. And Katie's got a try on a tri bike for, for got a T T bike like three days ago. It's going to be really fun seeing how all this turns out. You, we'll get that match. Uh, <laughs> go, Paula. go Paula. There we go. There we go. There Absolutely. Go. I love it. Uh, thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Uh, Simon Whitfield and the lovely Lisa Bentley have been with us. Again, Breakfast with Bob, Challenge Championship, and the Collins Cup. Hold on. We'll be back with you with more captains.